Peter, good to talk to you. What else did Thomas Cashman have to say for himself? Yeah, hi, Dan. Well, you might remember a witness in this case claims that Thomas Cashman went to her house after the shooting to change his clothes and that she heard him talking about what had happened today. He said that was a total lie, a blatant lie. He said he did leave some clothes there, but that had been on a completely different day. And he said that he couldn't explain why gunshot residue was later found on those clothes. He was asked, is it because you shot someone? And he replied, no. He insisted he had nothing to do at all with the death of nine-year-old Olivia Pratt. Corbell telling the jury I didn't kill a little girl he said he felt bad when he heard a child had been shot because he's got children of his own and then he was shown CCTV footage of what the prosecution claim is Thomas Cashman shooting his alleged intended target that night a man called Joseph Nee just before Olivia was then hit by a bullet and in an exchange with the prosecuting barrister Thomas Cashman said this I did not kill a little girl is my DNA anywhere near the house could you tell the jury that please if my DNA was there you tell the jury Joseph Nee's given a name in of the suspect who did it. Is this person's DNA on the door of the house? You can't answer that, he said. And earlier he was asked about the hours leading up to the shooting. Question, were you starting to get excited? Answer, no. Question, were you starting to get into the murder frame of mind? Answer, no, I wasn't in no murder frame of mind. Thomas Cashman denies all of the charges against him and he's now finished giving his evidence. Peter, thank you. That's Peter Lane in Manchester for us tonight.